And um, when you think of texture, what words come to mind? Bumpy, sandpaper. What kind of texture would sandpaper have? Gritty. What else? Rough. Rough. Good. What else? What kind of tech? What kind of texture of skin do you like to have? Smooth. Okay. If somebody has rough hands, there's certain things we don't like to touch. Okay. Right. Anything you like to touch that's rough? <laughs> what? Okay. Toast. Toast? Yeah, toast is kind of rough. All right. So a lot of times, and a lot of us are sensitive to touch with our when we eat. Is there anything you don't like because of the texture? My dad says he's allergic to coconut because he doesn't like the texture of it. He doesn't like the texture. Anybody else got a texture that? Yes. Shrimp. Shrimp. Okay. You don't like muscle. Okay. So texture is one way we take in information and we have different responses to them, right? So the first thing is always we're going to do for our notes is write the definition. And you should have found it by now. It's in your book right here. So go ahead and write down the definition. One, seven, one. If you look on the screen, you can see it. So there's actual texture, and that's what, when you actually can feel it. Is anybody wearing anything that's rough today? Okay. Yes, you are. Okay, you've got the lace that's kind of rough. Who else? Most of us are probably wearing smooth textures. This right here, part of, part of what I'm wearing is rough. Right here, this flower thing on my, it's rough and where the rest of it is smooth. Okay, so those are actual textures. But when we look at pictures, look in your book, and look at, this is actually a throne of an African king. If you touch that, how does it feel? Touch it? <coughs> I want you to pet your throne. There you go. Okay, what does it feel like? Smooth. But you know from experience that if that was an actual, instead of the picture of the throne, it was the actual throne, um, you can tell by looking it's made of what? Beads. And so you know that that texture would be rough. Right. Okay. So um, that's what we mean by sometimes you know, it's the way it looks can can give you the idea of what it is. Sometimes it's actually that surface. All right, so there are four basic kind, um, categories of texture. Anybody? Uh, okay, <coughs> I heard smooth. And I don't think we need to define that because I think you all know what smooth is. If you don't, let me know. Rough. You don't know what smooth is. Smooth is when you touch something, your, your, your fingers just, it feels all the same, okay? Rough is when, I know you're being very funny, hilarious. Okay, that's all right. Um, I need some sense of humor right now because my computer is making me really crabby. 
Okay, so rough is, you know, it would not feel, your hand would not evenly go across the surface. If I had to define it, that's what I'd say. Okay, well, there's two more. Shiny, good. How can something feel shiny? How can something feel shiny? Well, that's a very good question. Something that's shiny um, is going, it, yeah, I guess you can't really feel it. All right. But um, it is considered a texture because there's a, a big difference between something that is smooth. So let me do the other one first. So here's shiny. And then the other one, which you're probably not familiar with, is called matte. Yeah. Well, you're bringing up a very good point. And that means kind of uh, flat or, or dull, not shiny. It's not shiny. Okay? Shiny would be, another word for that would be glossy. There's a lot of talking going on. If we could uh, keep that to a minimum. So, for example, I'm trying to find something I have that's rough. Does anybody? I don't have a diamond ring, unfortunately. So I can't show you that. That would be shiny and rough. Um, here's something that's. I don't know if you can see the pencil sharpener. Is shiny and rough at the same time. Um, where a mirror. For example, so you can have rough and shiny, you can have smooth and shiny, right? Everybody agree with that? So whatever a surface looks like is going to be one of those, like this. Ah. Hello? All right, so. Anyway, that's smooth and shiny. Now, usually I have you do examples. What I would like you to do is put on your, on your notes, I want you to put an example of smooth here. Okay? So what, what could you use? Silk. Okay, you could use silk. You could use a ribbon. Okay, which may or may not be shiny. So sometimes these two are going to intersect, you know, what could you use for shiny? You could use glitter, and glitter would be rough and shiny, right? Wouldn't be smooth and shiny. What else could you use for shiny? I have some tin foil if you want to use that. Sparkles. Sparkles. I think I have some. Well, we have shiny paper, don't we? Ah, remember that shiny paper? Which my fourth black class sorted yesterday, so let's keep that sorted. All right, matte. Matte can be either rough or smooth, but matte is something that means it's dull, it's not shiny. So a piece of paper is, is smooth and matte. It doesn't, doesn't reflect light. And let me think of something that's rough and matte. Well, here. I don't know how well you can see this. This is my keychain holder from Guatemala. It's not shiny, but it's, it's got texture. It's rough. So I don't know how well you can see the roughness of that. Okay? So what I would like you to do is have examples of each one of these. Now, let's talk about what do they communicate. Okay, so smooth communicates what? If you got some, if you got some good words, you can use them. Okay, so communicates... What does it communicate? Give me some words. Peaceful. Good. What else? Gentle. Nice. What else? Huh? Soft. What else? And we're going to go backwards here. So we'll do this for smooth. 
Then I'm going to put shiny up here. Don't have quite as much room. Communicates. Go ahead and put boxes for all of them. I'm going to put one for rough right now. Oops, can you see? Sorry. All right. My bad. Communicates. And communicate. So tell your partner some words for some of these categories that you think would work. Um. Okay, so Jordan, give me a texture and give me a word that it communicates. Any one, any category. Rough. What does it communicate? Prickly. Okay, Caitlin, give me a word. Give me a texture and give me a word. Um, sandpaper is a thing that's rough, but what what would be a, a, a word or an emotion or a, an adjective? We're looking for adjectives. Do we like to touch things that are rough? Yes, go ahead. Gritty. Gritty, okay. Um, okay, so I take a piece of sandpaper and I rub it on my skin. How's that going to feel? What? How about irritating? When I got when I got my tattoos, you guys know I have tattoos. I have eyeliner tattoo. And it was it was very and what they do with you know they prick you with a needle over and over and over again, and it was very irritating. Okay, because they were roughening up my skin so they could put the ink into it. All right, freak out, but it didn't last long. What else? So it was kind of agitating, agitated, kind of harsh. It could be repulsive. I don't want to touch it because it's so rough. When I go dancing, when I dance with a man who has rough hands, I don't I don't enjoy that very much. I prefer that if they have smooth hands. But if they're a good dancer, I forgive them that. Okay? I make exceptions. Okay, what about what about um, shiny? You guys you guys all know shiny, you can, you can give me some words for that, please. Bailey. Bright. Bright? Reflective, good. What else? Iridescent. Iridescent. Iridescent means it shines. What are you gonna what what are you expressing when you wear shiny things? No, manly. Not necessarily. What? Happy. Happy. I know when I wear shiny things. When I go dancing, I wore a lot of shine. Every single dress I wore in New York, because I was going dancing, had sequins and glitter, and I was shiny. Okay? I went dancing, yes. Was that parties? What? parties? Well, they were dances, so they had bands, and um, there were hundreds of people there. So everybody gets dressed up, the band plays, you dance, and you have a ball. I did that in New York. Okay, so... Bright, radiant. Um, it could be slippery. I'm going to add a few more down here. Slippery. What else? Attention grabbing. Flashy. I'm going to use flashy because that kind of. New, 
Generally, things that are new or shiny, right? Okay, what about smooth? What do we got? Soft, gentle, peaceful. What did you say again? Rich for smooth. How so? Like luxurious, kind of. Okay. Michael? I don't think it's luxurious. Okay. Um, calm. That's kind of like peaceful. Comfy, soft. Okay, flat, bold. Okay, and again, it's gonna it's gonna depend on where you see it. If it's on clothing or if it's you know. Is it someplace you're expected to be? Let's do, okay, now let's do matte. Matte is, is when it doesn't shine. Um, I don't know. But it's a good word to know because when you go to pick out paint for like your bedroom or something, they'll ask you if you want matte paint or glossy. They don't call it shiny paint, they call it glossy paint. So it's a good term to know, but that's just a, uh, that's the term. Matte means it does. It's not shiny. So what would be some things? Dull. It could be dull. Boring. What? Flat. Yes. Yeah, I know. That's okay. That's okay. Bland. Solid. It could be maybe. Yeah, solid. Okay. Let me see if I've got any other words from previous times. What did we do before? For bland, gloomy, gloomy, quiet, plain. Maybe plain. Let's do that one instead. Okay. So there are our notes. Any questions?